Hi there, this is the RPS Project, I'm Richard and today I'm going to be looking at voltage gain on a Class A amplifier, basic circuit, one like this, if you can see that, um, and this is the basic circuit I'm going to be working with. The gain is the relationship between the collector resistor and the emitter resistor and I'm going to be changing the emitter resistor to see what gain I can get from this basic circuit. Uh, now I'm just looking at voltage gain and not current gain. I don't really need to worry about the current gain at this time because what I'm dealing with is a first stage amplification, what would be going into maybe a preamp stage, something that's going to have other stages behind it. Um, so to me I just want a good voltage gain to have a good signal going into the rest of the circuit. So that's what I'm going to have a look at. I'm going to see what gain I can get and um, maybe a little bit of basic mass. It is only just basic mass because all it is it's the relationship between um, the collector resistor and the emitter resistor. So divide the collector resistor by the emitter resistor tell me what gain I should be getting. So, um, so let's have a look at that on the bench and um, see what we get. Okay so here we are on the bench. I've got um, my circuit set up here, I've got a few different items, obviously my function generator, I've got a um, multimeter and over in the background I've got my uh, scope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that resistor, let's see if I get this in shot, I'm going to change that resistor um, for several different ones. I'm going to start with, let me get my notes out, um, a 1K, and then I'm going to do um, 470, 430 ohm, 390, 270 ohm, 200 ohm, and 100 ohm. And I'm going to see how much gain I'm going to get from each one of those. Now, the uh, collector um, resistor is a 1K, so I'm just dividing by a thousand, really, a thousand divided by whatever that is, and I've got some calculations already to see what I think I'm gonna get. So, you know, um, it should be, well, fairly simple. I'm hoping it, uh, it works out how I want it. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll just read through what I've got on my notepad as to what I think I'm gonna get. With a, with a 1K, 100 millivolts. With a 470, 213 millivolts. 430 ohm, 233 millivolts. 390 ohm, 256 millivolts, 270 ohm, 370 millivolts, 200 um, ohms, 500 millivolts, and 100 ohms, 1 volt. Hmm. Well, that's based on me having 5 volt supply over there, making a noise, and I've put, what, about 1.3 1.2 volts on the base, I and mean, I'm not looking at current gain at the moment, just um, voltage gain. So um, I suppose I'd better stop rabbiting on and uh, have a look at it, hadn't I? Now what's my input? Signal input is going to be 100 millivolts, so let's get that set up. Um, amplitude. 100 millivolts, marvellous. Okay, I've got 200 millivolts per division on the input. Tell you what, I'm going to move my camera angle so it's more on the uh, on the scope than anything else. So let's just get that up there. And um, zoom in on that. Let's get this in shot, sorry about this. Oh, wrong way. Uh, that's, well, that's about it. I should do. So, first of all, I suppose about to turn my um, input signal on. There we go, nice and small. Where am I triggering? Let me just check where I'm triggering. See so if I'm triggering on one or two. Uh, menu. I'm on channel channel one, so yeah, it's just a bit um, 
Some. Right, 100 millivolts per division, and I've got 100 milliamps, so looks about right. Yeah, so um, let's turn this uh, this little circuit on. Right, are on different scale, aren't we? So let's change that. Ooh, wrong way. Well, there we go. We got. 100 millivolts in and looks like to be around about 100 millivolts out. Um, let's just have a, I'm just going to have a quick look at the um, collector, at the, at the voltages on this. You can't see they're out, it's out of shot, but I'll just um, have a quick look. I've got 440 volts on the collector, 0.64 on the emitter, and 1.25 on the base. Seems to be about right, I suppose. I'm not doing calculations on, on bias points for, for the DC. I just want to look at, see how much signal I can get out of this by uh, changing the um, emitter resistor. <coughs> at the moment, it's about even odds, I'd say. <coughs> but then it would be, because it's a 1,000 ohm resistor on the collector and a 1,000 ohm resistor on the emitter. 1,000 divided by a 1,000 is going to be 1. So I'm just going to get out what I put in. So, um... <coughs> yeah, I suppose I could measure that. Let's have a quick um, measure of that. And so yeah, let's get it on there. Well, it's saying 108 millivolts, so it's, a, it's pretty much, uh, you know, it's margin for error there so what I'm putting in is what I get out so um, yeah let's just turn that off turn off the signal and now I'm going to change this for the next resistor which is actually going to be 470 ohm bit fiddly never mind so um, turn on my signal input it's still 100 milliamps and my output now I reckoned I was going to get about 213 millivolts so um, let's have a look and see what I have actually got and I've got there margin for error Hey, that's about right. That seems to be working okay. I like that. Um, uh, let's have a quick look at the, the voltages. I'm just going to read them out. I've got 372 three, on the uh, collector, 0.62 on the emitter, and 1.24 on the base. So that's all nice and steady. And obviously, as I change the um, the emitter resistor I'm changing the bias point on my output because it, it will because I'm changing those resistors so it will change that bias point but not by a terribly large amount hopefully I'll find a point where I get the best gain without any clipping without any problems so um, I reckon on to the next resistor which is 430 ohm so let's move that on Right, um, turn on my signal, <coughs> still the same, and my output. Now, 470 to 430 isn't a great big difference. Um, we're going from supposedly 230 millivolts to 200, and 56 is what I reckon, so there's only a tiny bit of additional gain from that, but, um, but it is there. Actually, this is reading 200. 236 actually my, my source that I should be on channel 2 shouldn't I because that's what I should be reading but it's still giving out the right um, the right reading so is that saying 236 233 I reckoned so it's about about right it's uh, not a problem doing alright so far so let's um quickly get on and move on to the next one which is 
the 390 ohm right 390 ohm signal in signal out <coughs> so there we have a bit more gain get the measurement for that 252 I reckon 256 is what I reckoned I was going to get I've got 252 it's about right that, that's reading just brilliant you know getting out what I expect to get out and I'm getting more gain each time so um, on to the next one which is 200, 270 ohm input signal on output signal on 270 ohm well, hey we're really starting to um, crank up that gain now uh, come on Let's see if I can get that just where I want it it's about there and the upper limit there 360 millivolts from 100 millivolts input I reckon I was going to get about 370 and I've got 360 so that's that's fairly close that's pretty much on the ball mark and uh, okay so that's on to the on to the next one now this is 200 ohms because I don't have a 200 ohm resistor I've just used um, two 100 ohm resistors in series so uh, uh, signal input still the same signal output now we really are starting to get some more gain out of this aren't we looking really good 270 about there about 480 millivolts that's looking good I'm liking that I reckoned I was going to get about 500 millivolts calculated and I've got 480 millivolts so that's that's a lot of gain you know that's quite good 480 millivolts nearly half a volt from 100 millivolts so that's that's quite a lot of gain and you know that's nearly five times out what I put in so voltage gain wise that's quite good especially if I was going into a next stage on a circuit I mean half a volt is you know half decent really uh, I quite like that so um, let's move this down now. Let's go take this to 100 volts. Cause I think that was the uh, 100 ohms. Cause I think that was the smallest value I was going to do with this. Just a tiny bit of fiddle in here. Take one resistor out. Now this is just 100 ohms. Same signal in. Oh, and will you look at that? Now at 100 ohms, we obviously must have um, changed the biasing enough to shift the point of uh, um, the um, emitter, va um, emitter voltage. So if I look at this now, my collector is at 0.7, my emitter is at 0.45, uh, base is at 1.1, 1 .1, 1 .1, yeah, volts. So going too low on the emitter has meant that I've ended up with a voltage that drops the bias point on the emitter too low for it to function because I've ended up clipping off yeah the bottom end is now clipped off so we've clipped off the bottom end of this uh, this signal so 100 ohms is is too much, you know, too little really. So that's not gonna not gonna work. So I reckon that the the best result I was getting, and knowing that I was still getting probably good headroom, change that over, would have been is the it's a 270 um, 270 ohms. Because in there, as you can see, I've got from my from my previous reading of 200 ohms. I've dropped the signal down a little bit, 
So I'm getting about 300 and what did I say it was? 360 millivolts from 100 millivolts. So that's more than three times what it what it originally was, 3.6 is it? 3.6 times what I'm putting in and that's really quite good, I'm quite happy with that so to me that's fine, I, I like this little circuit and, uh, and the fact I've got voltage um, gain from 100 millivolts and that's what it's giving. Now obviously if I had a smaller signal um, I could possibly try and get a bit more gain out of it uh, and the smaller the signal, the more likely I'm going to be able to use a capacitor across the um, emitter. Such as, uh, let me get this into position. So, uh, <laughs> not very good this, is it? I haven't thought about it much, have I? If I change this and put a capacitor across there, I get a lot more gain across there. So I could have quite a small resistor there and that there. And that would work with a really low signal. You know, if I'm talking um, 50 or 10 millivolts input signal, I could do that, and I could get a lot more gain from it. But that's not the purpose of what I want to do here. I just want to see how much gain I could get, voltage gain I could get, just by changing those um, resistors and having that uh, uh, dependency of that uh, function of emitter. Uh, collector resistor and emitter resistor and that's um that seems to work quite well I like that it's brilliant does what I wanted it to does what I expected it to which is even more better so there you have it basic gain basic voltage gain of a class A amplifier very simple very easy to set up and very easy to work out what you want to get from from this setup for me 270 ohm seemed to be a sweet spot 200 ohm maybe it all seemed to work very closely together uh, and seemed to give me a, a very good signal output so it'll work really well in the next stage especially if I'm going to be doing any filtering or um, obviously I'm going to be putting it into some more amplification later on in uh, a further stage to give me uh, a decent output to drive you know a load a speaker or something later on um, but yeah that works really well very simple very easy to do and you don't need to know a lot of maths to do it either so that's brilliant anyway if you didn't like this video you know what to do if you did thumbs up subscribe and all comments are welcome see you next time